For this week's video, I wanted to share a solo sorry that I had on the Storm of War DCS Warbird server. I found this sorty interesting because I found success, but I know that I don't know a lot about DCS Warbirds. In the most ideal scenario, you know all of the playing characteristics, you know what is the best option during what scenario, but I did not have that, so I defaulted to my IL-2 knowledge for just being generally a very aggressive pilot. PvP is not a standardized test, where if you pick the wrong choice, you are wrong no matter what. Your opponent and the situation ultimately decide what is and isn't viable, and I found myself able to get out of some sticky situations by being aggressive. I'll include my thoughts and some of the points during this. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. So right at the gate, I see that I have a contact coming head on with me. He did a slight dive and he is looking like he wants to come up for a shot. I'm already higher than him and I've been flying straight with my engine power up quite high so I know that I can climb. And I immediately decided to go for a hammerhead, which is one of my favorite maneuvers to do in any air sim. I really like planes that have good climb rates. But unlike IL-2, hammerheads are a little bit trickier to do in DCS because you don't have as much nose authority at low speeds. And you see that here, almost like buffeting as I come out over the top. Now, these P-51 has a very interesting choice here where you can continue the raid fight by going up which would be scary for me. But what he does instead is that he just dumps his nose, which is very interesting to me because I'm not really sure what he's thinking of doing. And he used all that energy to do basically a big loop. And to make sure I don't overshoot, I cut the engine. And again, he dumps his nose to dive out. So that's twice he's sort of done that, which to me is very curious because it doesn't really make sense. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. And it looks like he stalls himself here, which lets me get a decent solution on him. Now, I'm still getting used to the gunnery in this game in comparison to IL-2, but just a few hits are just enough. And not to overshoot, again, I cut my engine. And he bails out and I take a shot, which is scary, because I... At the beginning of the fight, I was checking my 6 and I just stopped because I got so focused. And I'm not really sure where this guy, guy is. And in DCS, the visibility is really tricky because spotting is hard enough. And you get these stupid reflections in your copy, which makes it really hard to see. And I confirm so the P-51, he's quite close, I'm not sure of his energy state, which makes this a little scary because I don't have a whole lot of altitude that go away and run. So I'm going to extend and see what he does. And I do these slow rolls, which I really like doing, um, basically to keep him guessing and to keep an eye on him. And I want to build up a bank of altitude, so I, I do start a gradual climb. That's his shadow down there. So I don't really see him at this point, but I know he's back there somewhere. And I see I've built some distance with him. I don't know if his engines were, engines were running hot and he came back, but I decide with this distance I'm going to cut into him and start to fight him. And he turns into me, I come up over the top trying to get in behind him. He seems like he kept his engine pegged and didn't get any sort of vertical altitude. So he's just in a straight up flat turn and I'm able to easily get right behind him. Again, being aggressive, I could have kept running, but I decided to turn into him. And I don't think this guy was really expecting this. Um, I don't really think, uh, just something that I've noticed, I don't think a lot of people expect the just people to use huge variances in airspeed. Um, so far in my, in my experience here on Summer War, So another clean kill, this only happened because I was being aggressive. Um, I got caught 
put my pants down. I didn't panic. Um, I had some time to think. Uh, got a little bit of an extension and turned into him and and and, and knife fighted that guy. From here, I kept the sortie going, and I'm um, basically trying to vault airfields. Uh, I'm not really sure which airfields are active, which ones have flak, so I'm trying to be a little careful. Flak is really scary in this game, uh, almost to the point where I think it's a little bit too strong. And I see something dive in on me, and at this point, I'm not sure if it's a 51 or a 47. It looked kind of big to me, so I thought maybe it was a 47, but unlike last time, I have altitude, so I have a little bit more options. Now, what I mentioned earlier about flak is kind of going through my mind. I'm not really sure where the flak is. I just know if I go for far enough in this direction, I'll get away from the flak. So my idea here is I don't want to fight him here. I need to get away. I see some flak shots below. So I'm trying to extend and I see this cloud coming up. Uh, I just was looking at it. And the plan is with this cloud layer up ahead is I'm going to dive through it and from there I can decide to go through the cloud and turn immediately or I can just keep diving away and see what he does. And he's getting quite close so I got to dump my nose and, and extend. Try to build some separation to build up some options. So could have turned hard after this cloud layer, but because I'm kind of in enemy lines and not sure where their flak is, I decided to keep going. And I see this guy's quite close, he's chasing me. I dump my, I know he just dove, so he's a lot of speed. I dump my throttle to try to begin an overshoot. Smartest thing that he could do right now is just dump his throttle or go up high. Uh, if he goes high, just kind of like a yo-yo he could just sit above me in the perch and I basically have dumped my speed for nothing but he sticks with it again I haven't really noticed a lot of people in warbirds for DCS like expecting overshoots like this which are pretty basic not to say that all the people in DCS don't know about it it's just my experience so far And, you know, pretty easy overshoot. Uh, his speed, it didn't seem like he was able to keep up with the rolls, and he just basically just went right, right past me. Now, these shots, um, the way, the reason why I'm taking these really crappy shots is, or two reasons. One, my gunner's not great in DCS yet, um, just because I'm so used to IL-2 and I don't really play DCS Warbirds. But also because I want to put the pressure on him. If he got reversed that quickly and easily, probably just know exactly what he's doing so I'm just trying to fluster him and just keep the pressure up and I flame him here and I immediately get bounced just like before not good situational awareness which is really bad there's no excuse for that and we see this is a Spitfire and I basically have a chance right here with my instantaneous turn radius to try to catch him in this turn because I reversed him and I botched my shot I was thinking of going vertical and doing a loop here to try to cut this turn, and I see something behind me. I'm, And again, instead of chasing the spit, again, being aggressive and turning into it. And he flops it, trying to stay with me. Uh, I actually probably got lucky that I wasn't able to complete that vertical loop for the spit, because in DCS, I probably would have stalled myself out and would have just been ruined with no... Out, with no um, with no speed or altitude, so that was probably actually lucky that he came in and also lucky that he flopped himself in so quickly, but um, this Spitfire is gone. I think he lost track of me or maybe I hit him and he just decided to run away. But the closing thought here is basically don't be scared to be aggressive. The great pilots and flight sims are the ones that can apply aggression while getting away with it and they can abuse other people's aggression against them. I don't consider myself a great pilot. I would say that I'm just good. But in order to get the path of learning, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You won't learn what you can and can't agree with until you try it. And for me personally, I feel like I die a lot of times because of my aggression, but I also do get away with it. I just found myself thinking this a lot while playing DCS Warbirds. People don't fly that aggressive from what I've seen so far. And I'm just not sure if there's just an influx of new people who are trying out Warbirds from coming from jets. but. I just wanted to throw this thought out into the ether to see how it resonates with, with you. The last closing thought is don't forget to use your throttle. 
You saw a lot of overshoots here, and they were only possible because the other guy didn't touch his throttle. You're sitting there moving your $500 joystick around. You may as well move your $500 throttle around. I'm being a little facetious here to get the point across, but you have a throttle for a reason, so be mindful of it. If you see yourself closing distance fast, perch up or slow down. I hope this resonates with some of you. If any of you decide to push the boundaries a bit, push your comfort zones, please let me know in the comments below. And please consider subscribing if you found this helpful. Have a good one. Thank you.